quantitative estimation of DNA by diphenyl amine method. The reagents required are diphenyl amine reagent. Now, standard DNA solution having concentration of 0 0.25 mg per ml. This is uh, used to make serial dilution of standards. Two unknown concentrations of DNA, the test solutions, the concentration of which are to be found out. Then uh, saline citrate buffer, uh, which is prepared using sodium chloride and sodium citrate, dissolved in distilled water and made the pH to 7. Further, we need uh, test tubes marked B for blank, standard tubes S1 to S5 for standards, T1, T2 for tests, pipettes, boiling water bath and colorimeter. The procedure starts with addition of working standard of 0.25 mg per ml concentration to standard test tubes marked S1 to S5 added exactly 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1.0 ml into standard tubes marked S1, S2, S3, S4 and S5. Now accuracy of addition is uh, very important here in a quantitative analysis for accuracy of results. Whatever the feature of unknown solutions, test 1 and test 2 are added to T1 and T2 also. It's followed by addition of citrate buffer to blank first 2 ml and from S1 to S5 added exactly 1.8, 1.6, 1.4, 1.2 and 1.0 ml of citrate buffer from S1 to S5. And further 1 ml is added to T1, test 1 and test 2 also. So all tubes are made up to 2 ml. All 7 tubes are having 2 ml of reagents in it. Now uh, 2 ml of DPA reagent is added to all tubes including blank, all standards and T1, T2. This makes a total volume of 4 ml in all test tubes. And uh, this is mixed well and kept in a boiling water bath for 10 minutes. And after boiling, uh, as you can see, a deep blue color is developed in a standard and a test solutions. Uh, this is S1 and S2. You can see the color development though, as well as uh, T1 and T2. Now, the readings are taken at 595 nanometers using a colorimeter. This is the observation column. You can see the volume of reagents added given in the first column. In the last row, ODs of standards and test T1 are given. In the second row, amount of standard added are given, which is actually the value of standard concentration 0.25 multiplied by the volume of standards added in mLs to each tube. This is explained in a, a footnote asterisk. Now we are using the values of standard 5, S5 and T1 for further calculation. You may pause this and study well. Now the calculation. Concentration of DNA is equal to OD of test T1 divided by OD of standard multiplied by amount of standard and divided by the volume of test T1. This is equal to 0 0.234 milligram per ml and multiplied by 100 gives a final concentration of 23.4 milligram per 100 ml. This is finding result from graph. ODs are taken on the Y axis, concentration of standards taken on X axis, sports are connected using a curve. You can include the zero point also in this graph from the OD of a T1, 0 0.31, we get a concentration of 0 0.23 milligram per ml. The result from graph which employs the values of five standards is considered more accurate than taking a single standard for calculation using a formula. And the values need not always be exactly the same. Uh, the principle of DPA method. The deoxyribosin DNA reacts with the concentrated sulfuric acid to give a particular product namely beta hydroxy levulinic aldehyde. This product further reacts with DPA to give an intense blue color which can be read at 595 nanometers. Now the, the uh, deoxyribose of purine only uh, gives uh, such a reaction. So the actual DNA measured is half of the total amount only but still uh, since we are using a standard uh, we can equate the uh, result also to that uh, standard concentration. Now the, the T2 in our experiment had an absorbance of 0.22 calculate the result yourselves.
So that's all. Mm, thank you for watching uh, my video. Thank you very much.